Hey, what's up guys, it's Tupes and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the Pixel Experience Android Pie West ROM in Mi A1 and this will give you a complete Pixel 3 experience on your device. So before proceed, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe us and also hit the bell icon to get notifications about all of future videos. Now if you done that, let's get started. Now first of all, you have to unlock the bootloader of your device and if your bootloader is already unlocked, then you can simply skip this step. So to unlock bootloader, just go to about font, find the build number, tap seven times on it. It will enable the developer option in your device. Then go to that developer option, find the OEM unlocking and USB debugging and enable both of them. Once you enable both of them, just turn off your device and then press volume down and the power button together. It will boot your device into a fast boot mode. So once your device is in the fast boot mode, just connect your device with your computer via the USB cable and now go to your computer and download all these files. Now first of all you have to install the ADV driver on a PC. I already installed the ADV driver on my PC so I'm not going to install it again. So once you install the ADV driver next you have to open command prompt in your computer. You can open command prompt in the same directory or you can open command prompt directly by searching the command prompt in your search bar. So once you're in your command prompt just type the fastboot space oem space unlock and it will unlock the bootloader of your device. And if your bootloader is already unlocked, then you can literally skip this step. So once you're done with that, your device will be rebooted automatically. And make sure that you already take a backup of all your important data because this process will gonna wipe all the data from your mobile, including your internal storage. So once it wipe your internal storage and unlock you the bootloader of your device, you no need to boot your device. You can just reboot your device in fast boot mode and to boot your device again in fast boot mode you can just simply press the volume down and the power button together and it will boot your device again in fast boot mode you don't need to reboot your device entirely you can just skip reboot process and boot your device in fast boot mode so once you are in again in fast boot mode just leave your device connected to your computer now go to your pc and extract this boot recovery file then go to boot recovery folder then go to recovery folder and here you will get run.bat file and just double click on it to execute commands and it will open the command window and boot your device in twrp recovery it will not install the twrp recovery it will just boot your device in twrp recovery so once your device is in twrp recovery just swipe allow for the modification go to wipe select all these four options that i am selecting swipe to wipe everything just go to home menu of TWRP recovery again leave your device connected to your PC now go to your PC again and now copy all these files in your internal storage so you just have to copy your ROM file TWRP file and the Google camera file you no need to download any GFs file for this ROM because GFs is already included in this pixel experience ROM so once you're done with that go to your mobile go to install find your ROM file just swipe this button left to right and it will flash the pixel experience ROM file in your device. It may take up to 5 to 10 minutes so wait until it's done. Now once it's done, go back to home menu of TWRP recovery, go to install, select the TWRP recovery file, swipe this button left to right and it will flash the TWRP recovery on your device. And if you want, you can also flash the magic manager. I'll put all this file link in the description of video. Once it's done, click on reboot system. Ignore the noise warning and that's it. Your device will boot in the latest Pixel Experience ROM which is based on the Android Pie. So once it's done, simply set up your device. Now let me give you a quick review of this ROM. Starting with the notification panel here, you have blue ascent in your notification panel. Just like in Pixel 3, if you talk of the grayscale feature there, you also have that grayscale feature in your notification panel. And if you talk about the fingerprint, it's not too fast but uh, it is okay here you don't need to swipe your screen after uh, unlocking your device and if you talk about the ui ui is the pretty awesome just like in stock android or the pixel 3 it is very simple and the pretty stock and here you can see that i have three camera applications installed in my device here you can see that the first one is the mi a2 camera now if you want to install the mi a1 camera you really can't install the mi a1 camera because MI A1 camera is still not ported for the Pi based ROM but instead of that you can install the MI A2 camera. Now next we have the Pixel 3 camera for that you just have to simply install the APK in your device and that's it you will have the Pixel 3 camera. 
most of the feature is working perfect with this camera application if you talk over the video recording video recording is working fine front and rear camera with the hdr and sdr off both the things are working fine portrait mode with the rear camera is working fine but the portrait mode is with front camera is not working at all it just captures some greenish photos in your mobile maybe you can play with the settings or wait for the updated version of this apk now if you talk about the panorama mode panorama mode is also working with this rom and if you go to this more section here you the photo space is working a uh, photo booth and the night mode is also working with this rom but if you talk about the uh, slow motion slow mo motion is completely broken and if you talk about the night mode night mode is just giving you a more sharper image not more brighter image and if you go to the settings option here here you, you will have lots of setting you can control over the hdr settings and uh, you can control over your camera resolution and some of the other cool stuff now at the last we have the google pixel camera and the front portrait is also working with this uh, camera application and you can use this camera for the your front portrait and most of the things you already know about all this camera application i'll put all this link uh, in the description of the video so you can download and install all these files on your device now let me give you some system overview here you can see that this device is running on the android pi 9.0 Now here we have some system setting under the settings menu here you can play with the gesture setting and if you talk about the this button option over here here you can uh, enable your navigation bar directly from this uh, system setting you no need to uh, install any magic module for that you can directly enable the navigation bar in your device now if you talk about the this digital well-being here we also have this digital well-being here and everything is working fine with this rom and if you talk about the display here under going to advanced we have that dark theme option over here so that's a pretty cool and the necessary thing with this android pi rom now if you talk about the battery performance battery performance is really very awesome with this rom and if you talk about the uh, ui i'm the very big fan of the pixel experience or the stock android i'm big fan of that with this rom you also have uh, lots of wallpaper from the google pixel 3 and uh, also you also have some of the live wallpaper from the google pixel 3 now if you talk about this task panel here you have the iphone x like uh, task panel and you can directly switch between any apps uh, and that's a very awesome thing you can literally copy paste anything from one tab to another and at last if you talk about this magic manager you can directly install this magic voice uh, flashing zip file from the twrp recovery and you can also install this M MIA to camera wire just flashing this right MIA to camera module and I put all the files in the description of video. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to do subscribe and also hit the notification bell. And if you haven't followed me in my social media, then you can follow me in my social media from the link in the description. I hope you like the video and don't forget to share this video with your MIA1 friends. And that's it for this video. I will meet you soon in my next video.